How, how do you know? Like, it's not just, yeah. you know, we got, we got the lucky draw. Yes, here. it's important to understand that the fine-tuning argument is not saying that it's just because uh, this universe is highly improbable that therefore there must be a designer. Uh, and let me give two illustrations that help to make clear the difference between these arguments. Sometimes detractors of the design argument will appeal to a lottery illustration. In a lottery in which all the tickets are sold, any particular person winning is enormously improbable, but somebody has to win, right? And so it would be unjustified for that person to say, wow, the odds of my winning were 20 million to one. The lottery must have been rigged. Uh, it wasn't really by chance. It was, it was by design. It was rigged. And that would be fallacious. Somebody's got to win, and everybody is equally improbable. Now, what the argument then would say is, well, that's the way it is with the universe. Any particular universe is enormously improbable, but some universe has to exist, and so you can't conclude that because your universe is highly, highly improbable, therefore it must be the product of design. Now, if that were a good analogy for the fine-tuning argument, that would be a great objection. But that's not the correct analogy. That analogy only shows that the objector has misunderstood the argument. The correct analogy would be a lottery in which a billion, billion, billion black ping pong balls were mixed together with one white ping pong ball. And they were all churned together and then one ball is picked randomly out of the hoard, and you are told if the ball is black, you will be shot. If the ball is white, you'll be allowed to live. And the churning goes on, the random ball is picked, and it's white. Now in that case, you should conclude this lottery was probably rigged to let me live. Um, and the reason for it is because we are not concerned with the probability that that particular ball was picked. Any ball is equally improbable, right? But it is incomprehensibly more probable that whichever ball is picked, it will be black rather than white. See, that's the difference. You're not trying to explain why was this ball picked rather than another ball, you're asking why was a life-permitting ball picked rather than a life-prohibiting ball? And if you still don't see the force of that analogy, then imagine that in order to be allowed to live, the white ball had to be picked five times in a row, and, and it was. Anybody would see at that point this thing is rigged to, to let me live. And yet, if the odds are improbable enough the first time, adding four additional picks really wouldn't appreciably affect the probabilities of the situation. And I think that makes it very clear then what we're dealing with here. It's not the improbability of this particular universe existing. Rather, it is the improbability that whatever universe exists, it would be a life-permitting universe rather than a life-prohibiting one. And that's what cries out for design.